Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a WordPress automatic plugin. So with the help of this plugin, we will be able to fetch uh, uh, articles from a different website automatically. So it might be sounds confusing to you, but let me explain you how it will be working. So basically there are a lot of news website out in the market. So with the help of their RSS feed, we will be able to fetch article related to a specific category on like per hour basis or per minute basis let me show you how we can do that so let me show you the sales page of this particular plugin it it will cost you around 30 dollars but we are providing the same uh, plugin with the same functionality at a really affordable price right you can check it out it's almost like eight dollars okay cool and as you can see this plugin has more than 16,000 sales out there in the market which is totally amazing because with the help of this you can also create a amazon affiliate website also and i will show you how we can do that okay so first of all you have to download this plugin click here on download now and it will start automatically let it download okay so i will just extract it to my desktop here i downloaded it extracted it to my desktop and okay so once we have downloaded our a plugin and we have it on our system it's time to install it on our wordpress website so hover on to your uh, wordpress website this is the wordpress website today i'm working on so if you don't know how to uh, log into your wordpress website it's super simple you just have to type wp admin just after a url and you will be re redirected to your dashboard yeah if you are logging for the first time it will ask you for the login details which you have entered while you were installing your wordpress on hosting so put your uh, login details login credential and you will be redirected to the back end or this is called the dashboard as well so on the left hand side you will see multiple things like settings with the help of settings section you will be able to uh, set up your website properly like the permalinks media discussion reading okay under the tool section you got a lot of tools like import export you can create a lot of user and you can assign each and every user some specific task they are plugin with the help of plugins we can fulfill our certain needs of function on our website under the appearance hood you can customize your theme you can change the background there are menu section so today we are dealing with the plugin section click on plugin and click on add new so we will add a new plugin uh, so let it load so as you can see by default wordpress provides a n numbers of free plugin so what are the basic difference between free and paid plugins i would suggest you a theme consists of multiple functionality right and every each and each and every functionality depend upon some kind of certain plugin and if that particular plugin is missing from your theme then those particular functionality won't work so the uh, plugin consists of a lot of functionalities i would always suggest you a theme has a free plugin and a paid plugin free plugin is also good but the thing is there are a lot of more functionalities when it comes to paid plugin and uh, the wp uh, wordpress plugin which we are dealing with today the wordpress automatic plugin it it does not have any kind of uh, free version so that's why we have to buy it always okay I will try to upload it click on upload select the file and if I'm not wrong I can select it from here also WordPress uh, automatic here it is click on install and the theme will uh, the plugin will install in couple of minutes as you can see it has been uploaded click on activate and plugin has been activated successfully let me show you how you can set it up on the left hand side you will see wp automatic here we have to create a new campaign okay i have created one i will name this campaign as uh, google okay let it say like google let it be g capital google and here we have to select what type of article we want to fetch okay so i will select the design article okay and i will select the keyword keyword would be seo okay seo one keyword has been selected okay it's loading wait for a moment 
SEO and on page SEO and uh, SEO meaning okay these are the three keywords which will be working and with the help of these three keywords it will fetch the article from this particular website which is good and it is asking how many article we want uh, to be fetched from this particular campaign it's there is a limit like 2000 article will be fetched from this particular campaign and after that it this campaign will be stopped so let it be like 2000 no issues in that and this is the post article uh, article title and article template we will not change anything here and post type and format we will not change here either anything here it is and set uh, always mark this up that it says set a uh, first image as your feature image this is one of the important thing and here will be other settings always uh, scroll down and you will see a lot of settings that if you you can filter the articles also like you want to fetch only some kind of specific article which has some specific words right i will not select this for right now i will skip it and you can also rewrite and translate your website in multiple language also while it is fetching from other website you can search any kind of article modification with some kind of uh, uh, expressions and you can always get uh, links always if you want to uh, if you don't want to fetch any kind of link from that particular article you can stop that always uh, but i will show you how it works for right now so here you can see the update frequency it's uh, 60 minutes okay so on every 60 minute it will fetch a article from this particular website and post it on our website this is the frequency if i made it like 20 minutes so now it will fetch on every 20 minutes a article from th this particular website on our website but i will uh, let it be 60 minute uh, let's publish it and we will uh, try to fetch one article so let's see it's working fine or not okay i will run the campaign and uh, yeah we have to add a api also i forgot about it totally okay so come on settings and here if you scroll down here it is design setting okay we have to add our api so where we will find our api it will be under uh, google developer console click on this you have to sign up with your one of the gmail account if i'm not wrong let it load it might be taking some kind of time okay here we are we have to create a new project click on here and uh, create a new project i will name it as a tutorial tutorial project click on create and it will create a new project as you can see it it's loading and it will create in within a couple of seconds let's wait for it okay project has been created click on this and let's see where our project is okay everything has been properly created we will just go back to our dashboard where everything was created api dashboard and we will search for the api key okay here is the section where you have to enable your apis click on enable and here let's search for what was that particular term a custom okay let's search for custom custom api as you see custom search api we will click here and uh, if i'm not wrong we have to enable this and once it is enabled we will try to fetch the api key from here so on the left hand side you will see credential we have to create credential click on api key and it will create a api key for you as you can see here is the api key copy this and we have to paste it here okay and save it it was pretty simple you just follow the steps which i showed you and let's come back to our campaign which have which we have created here is the campaign click on edit and now we will try to run our campaign which will be super easy okay try to run your campaign 
and now you see article has been fetched successfully here is the article which has been fetched and let's see how our article looks and if you come back to your post section where all the articles is going to be submitted check here this article is already submitted on your uh, regular post section and it is also published which is the great thing isn't that so if you want to rerun the campaign you just have to click this it will fetch a new article related to that particular topic right isn't that great so if you want to fetch an article related to your rss feed uh, let me create a new campaign clicking on add new and all the settings will be same just we have to fetch a new article from rss feed i will name it at rss feed and here you just have to select feeds and here you have to add the rss feed so by default we will pick any kind of news website like uh, news 18 okay news 18 rss feed so let's see uh, news 18 already provide a lot of rss feed as you can see these are the categories you can fetch articles from i'll go for the football one okay this is the football rss feed i'll just copy this uh, particular url and paste it and let's publish it and uh, we will try to run campaign for this particular topic and let it load then we will run okay run the campaign it might take some uh, some couple of seconds because it's fetching from a particular news website from here it will fetch it and it will show it okay as you can see everything has been fetched successfully and the article is also published on our website which is super amazing there is a featured image and the whole article has been published so i hope you get the concept of this particular plugin which was super easy to understand right so if you want to buy this plugin you can always come to our website you will get it for eight dollars and if you face any kind of problem and if you see this uh, plugin is not working properly we will just uh, contact us we will give uh, we always have a seven days money back guarantee if you face any kind of problem in the plugin related to like some kind of bugs right so if you like uh, if you're running a wordpress website agency or you are a freelancer you can always check out our membership plan because with the help of membership plan you will be getting a lot of benefits let me scroll down and uh, tell you what are the benefits if you select the lifetime plan which will cost you around 350 dollars and with the help of this plan you will be able to download 5400 items per year which is totally uh, great because this website consists of more than 6000 wordpress plugin and theme which is totally amazing right and if you think that for the initial stage of your blogging industry or internet thing uh 350 dollars is costly uh yeah it might be costly also uh, so you can always get a monthly plan for 29 dollars which is not that much of a big deal and with the help of this plan you will be able to download 300 items per month which is also a great deal right so with that being said i just want to wrap this video up if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one